Hello, my dear YouTuber friends, and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Welcome to a very rainy day. What's the... <laughs> what's the difference? What's the change? Another rainy day at Manchester. Uh, <laughs> we've had enough of this rain. I had a question the other day. Let me just pop that on screen. Uh, how do you delete a flight plan from the EFB in Flight Sim 2024 on Xbox or PC? Now, I'm showing this on PC, but it should work on Xbox and PC. I'm going to show you how you can do that. You can see I've got a flight plan in on Xbox. I've got my flight plan in on the G1000. I'm going to show you in this video how you can delete the flight plan there and delete it from here. Put a new flight plan in here in the sim, in a flight. Put a new flight plan in here and how to get it showing on here as well. In the G1000. So let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so we'll start this off from the world map. Uh, I'm just going to take a flight from Manchester, set as departure, over to Heathrow, set as arrival, and just put Birmingham in between. Uh, add Birmingham. Now on this one, I'm in Sim Update 3, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So the release version of Flight Sim. You don't need to send this to Avionics. It should be in your G1000 at least. Uh, I'm in the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, as you as you can see there. So, let's go fly. So, on the active runway at Manchester Airport, on a lovely day here. <laughs> lovely autumn. <laughs> it's the end of summer for us, and it's still bloody murky here. Never mind. You can see my flight plan is in on my EFB. Let's just zoom out, show you the whole flight plan. There you go. So, it's in there. And it's in my G1000 as well. Let's just come down to there. There we go. You can see the flight plans in there. Let me just show you how to remove it first from the EFB. That was the question. Click on your top option here. Flight planning. Top button there. And then click on the reset. And reset. You're probably best having a mouse if you're on Xbox as well to do this. Although you could do it from your controller, I guess. And reset. There you go. So the flight plan now has gone from the EFB. Same for the G1000. Let's just hide the EFB for, for now. Get it out of the G1000. I'm just showing the G1000 in this video. Uh, go to flight plan button here. On your right G1000 flight plan. And then use your menu button. Menu button then. And then use the bigger FMS knob. So the inner knob. Just scroll up on it and get to delete flight plan and press enter. And then you can press flight plan again, range out, and you can see the flight plan's gone. Okay, so that's all gone. It's removed from the EFB and G1000. Let's just make another flight plan here. And I can show you how to transfer it to your G G1000 then. So let's take off from Manchester. Add to flight plan, set as departure. We'll fly to, oh, let's just see, Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Add to flight plan, set as arrival. And why not put something in between that? Do a bit of sightseeing in the, on the way. Uh, oh, you know, this will do. Add that. Add to flight plan as waypoint. There you go quick route setup going the other direction we can transfer that to the g1000 just go to the top button again top option that's your route menu basically and then just go send to avionics hey presto it's now sent to your g1000 there you go manchester to there to edinburgh isn't that fantastic? So, you, you know, you can go you, you can go wild there and create a, the flight plan of your dreams with uh, departures and arrivals and approaches and goodness knows what. 
and it should all go across to your G1000. Uh, one other thing I want to show you here, your G1000, because it flew through me a little bit when I came into this. If it's looking a bit funny, if you're over the UK and it's looking a bit odd, you're thinking that's not the UK, could be because your flight plan map settings is in heading up. Let's just put it in heading up just to show you. Uh, there we go. I'll go over this in a second. Could be that way, something like that. Uh, let's just clear that now. And you're thinking, hang on, that looks a bit weird. That's not... <laughs> because your heading's up, the, the way your aircraft is facing is, is up. So if I was facing that way, the map would be in the right orientation. To get that in the right orientation, it was like this for default for me, and it th threw me a little bit. Just go to Menu. Map Settings, click the Enter key. And then use your big FMS, nos the FMS knob, the bigger one there, inner one. Just scroll down, mouse up, so you get to heading up. Press enter again. Oh no, sorry, you don't press enter again. Use the smaller knob, the outer knob. Scroll up. And then scroll up again, so it gets, well, scroll down on that smaller knob, the outer knob. So it goes to north up. Depends which way you want it, I prefer north up. Press enter. And there you go, it's the right orientation. So I do hope that video is helpful to some of you. Certainly the person who asked it, give it a go. You're best probably, like I said, using a mouse on Xbox. With other Garmin systems, I don't know. I did try on the GNS 530 or something like that. Yeah, I mean, if you know those Garmin systems better, you might have better luck. This works with the G1000 and similar, probably something like the G3000 as well. Do let me know your thoughts. Give it a like this video if you enjoyed it and it's been helpful to you. Subscribe for more and I'll see you soon.